A clean site is a safe site, is an organised site, and uh, we encourage our staff and especially our foremen to uh, get on the broom and clean uh, uh, the site top to bottom uh, and just make sure that everything's safe and organised. It also gives them an opportunity to walk the site, see what's going on, not stuck in the office, uh, and uh, engage with the subcontractors, find out what the problems are. Look, that's a great question and, and you know, obviously safety is our number one priority on site uh, for our staff, uh, uh, but also for our clients and our subcontractors and uh, 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 engineers and architects that, that come onto site. Everyone needs to go home the same way that they came. Ten fingers, ten toes, but also two eyes that see and two ears that hear and two lungs that breathe. So uh, we, we take every opportunity and every precaution that we can to make sure that everyone goes home safely every day. For clients that are going to come, and obviously we encourage our clients to come onto site as much as possible, uh, really want them to enjoy and love the process of building with us, ask questions and, and keep a track of progress. Uh, but you know, safety is really important as well. So wearing closed shoes is really important, uh, ideally even safety shoes. Uh, and uh, as I say, we give our clients a, um, a little kit that they can either keep on site or keep in the car. Uh, with uh, some high vis and a helmet and some uh, 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 ears and eyes uh, protection as well. But we, we like them to sign in and just make sure that, uh, that they're going to be safe and they think about safety. Obviously they all get inducted the first time uh, that they come onto site. High vis and, and safety shoes are a mandatory sort of uh, minimum standard uh, for us. And then we just look at uh, helmets if there's an overhead risk. Uh, uh, ear protection and eye protection um, as required. Obviously at the moment we've got to uh, and check their temperature as well so that they uh, follow our standard procedure.